Good morning, everyone. It's about 5.40, and I just left my camp, hopefully to catch the sunrise a little bit. Sorry for the graininess on the video. It's pretty dark out still. Yes. I guess they're closed. I just drove down this way to watch the sunrise. I thought I'd stop and show you guys a little bit about how it looks this morning. They look kind of mangled. Like they haven't taken a shower in a while. I'm a little early to the market. They don't open for another seven minutes, so I am just going to find a place to park. It should be easy. Nobody's here. Well, I'm walking back to the van already. This shoe, this left shoe, is already messing with my toe. And it's gonna be a couple hours of walking, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw on my Merrells. All right, I feel like a new man. I haven't worn those like, solo shoes in a while, and I guess they're not really fitting very well anymore. The Kaibab Trailhead in Yaki Point is where I am uh, tightening up these shoes a little bit. Hey guys. All right, see you later. I believe this up here is the loop, meaning that's the end of the road, meaning trailhead to Ua Point should just be up here. Hi, how are you? Is this uh, for Ua? Yeah, yeah, but this is not the place for Ua. No, 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 no. So you need to take the bus. The trail, trailhead. What trailhead? Uh, cow, 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 something. The, it, was, the, it told me online to go to Yaki. No, Yaki, you can see the sunrise. To the, uh, Ua, 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 Yeah, Ua. yeah, okay, thank you. So you need to go to the trailhead of the cake, how, cow, 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 Okay. So here is the, so now you're the Yaki point, right? Yeah. So you go to take the bus. It's the Ua point. Yeah, go to the South Cow Cow Bar, Cow Bar oh, Trailhead. That's where you have to and go. And then there's a washroom. Okay. And then you go to the Ua uh, point. Yeah. Okay, I'll check this out first. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no problem. Thank you for the information. Car there? No, I walked over here from, uh, like, like a mile and a half. <laughs> yeah. Good for you. <laughs> yeah, I like walking. It's okay. Uh, you can take a picture if you want. Or it's easy. You have the map? It's in my car. Oh, you need one? No. It's okay. It's yeah. Okay. Well, maybe I'm at the wrong trailhead. I don't really care though. Howdy. So I walked here from the road over there. I parked my van down there. Um, I'm actually looking to get to uh, to the Uha trailhead. Uh, so I'll just walk it. Go this way. And how will I find the trailhead? When you see the mules. Oh, that's where I already passed them, yeah. Yeah, you see the mule, just go right in there. Cool. Well, I got the right information from someone who knows what they're talking about. So, back to the mules, guys. Back to the mules. Man. Yeah, it's been pretty fun. Yeah, I Just bet. the southwest. I've been through the southwest mostly. I'm making my way back, and then I'm going to hang out for like a month, and then I'm going to take off and head to the Midwest. Really? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know how to get out of here, but can you tell us uh, where the Uha trailhead is? So we follow this dirt, this dirt trail straight, you'll see more mules on your right, and then the trailhead's right past them. Okay. Thank you. Cool, well, I guess the bus driver was right. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get the shots, man. <laughs> Gotta get the walk down shot. <laughs> it's getting hot, you said? Here come all the views. All right, we did it.
All right, here we go. Nope, just heavy breathing. I gotta keep walking until I get all the way up there. Yeah, <laughs> we were just talking about that. <laughs> All right, the last leg. Three, four, maybe, maybe three or four more switchbacks. Almost there. Almost done. What's up, dude? Alrighty then, not so friendly, huh? Alright then, well, have a good day. Hey! What you doing? It's a coyote. What's up, buddy? How you doing? And right here is where I'm gonna make tacos from my van. Let me see. Before I can make those tacos, I need to clean up this van. All right, I got the van a little organized. I think it's taco time. So for the tacos, I'm gonna use my cast iron skillet. And let's get the ingredients out. We have fresh cilantro that I just picked up this morning. We have the carne asada pre-marinated. And what else do I need? Onion, which I have in here. And my friend's mother gifted me these onions. So. Thank you, Judy. Lastly, we have street taco tortillas. Adding a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. While that's heating up, put the uh, onion and cilantro. And I forgot about the pineapple. Meanwhile, <clears throat> while the meat's cooking, let's go outside and have a look. I put my van on the leveling ramps. Meanwhile, there's tourists taking pictures. And once again, the view of the Grand Canyon. What's not to love about van life? I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. Oh yeah, it's done. Can't forget about the hot sauce. I have Marie Sharp's habanero. There you have it, folks. Carne asada tacos at the Grand Canyon. Four tacos down. I think I'm gonna have two more. I need as much energy as I can get.